My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 84 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. Our business today is to name this compound. Name this compound. Looking at this compound, it can be compressed as such. Up to now or as of now, you should know that this is the same thing as CH3. This is the same thing as CH, let's say OH or C O H. Then move here. This is C H, then C2 H5. We can write this as C H C2 H5. Yes. Then we proceed. This is C H and O H. So C C H O H and CH2, one carbon, two hydrogen. CH2, then here, CH2, CH2, here, CH3. Now look at this. Nobody asked us to do this. And nobody is even ask, asking us to do something like this. The reason I am doing this is so that when you see a compound like this, you should be able to expand it to know that this is the expanded form and this is the compressed diagram. Please take note of that. And anytime I give you a compound, try to draw the compressed form because once it is compressed, I will draw the expanded form before naming. All this is to make sure no stone is left unturned. Now, from this compound, I have told you that Anytime you see carbon to O and to H, this is the same thing as OH. And here is the same thing as OH. The functional group here is obviously the alcohol group or the alkanon. And for alkanons, the surface is odd. Let's find the longest chain. In finding the longest chain for this compound, we have to be very, very careful. Why should we be very, very careful? We have two OH groups, which means there is presence of di to give us diol. Our carbon naming must contain the two functional group, even if it means it has to be shorter. Yes. It must contain the two, which means we have two naming options, either to name straight this way or to start naming from here. If we start counting from here, this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If we start counting from here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And seven. The longest chain is seven. So name the longest chain. Seven is hex. Hectan. And the longest chain is the parent name. Hex. You ask yourself, which of the numbering should we go with? Should we go with this one or should we go with this one? If you go with this numbering, the first functional group will be on carbon 4 and the second one will be on carbon 6. If you go with this numbering, the first functional group will be on carbon 2, the second one will be on carbon 4. So that actually gives us the smaller numbering. 
So we go this way. Also, going this way, we give this branch a bigger number. So we need the one that will give the functional group the smallest number and also the branch a smaller number. And don't forget, this is our chain. And these are our functional group. This is the branch. There is a branch. The functional groups are in carbon 2 and carbon 4. That will simply be 2, 4. 2, 4, diol. The branch is in carbon 3. So, 3. What is the branch name? This is C2H5. That is ethyl. All those uh, hydrocarbon branches are usually the methyl group. Ethyl, methyl, propyl, and I. So, the ethyl is on carbon 3. So, 3 ethyl. Nothing much to see. Let's combine the names. The first thing that will come is the branch. That is 3 ethyl, followed by the root name. This is heptan. Hep. Or you complete it to be heptan. Then the functional group will be the last, the surface, and that is 2, 4, diol. So, 3 ethyl, hept, 2, 4, diol. That is it, and nothing else to see here. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of this episode. Like I told you, I want you to understand naming of organic compounds, and I want you to get used to a lot of compounds. If you start naming so many compound ones, or so many all the compounds in one video, I shall be bombarding you with a lot of things. So I'm taking it one step at a time. And you see the way I'm doing it with the rest of mine. I'm not shouting or in a hurry. So with this, so many episodes will make you get used to the compound. And to get to a point where before I even name the compound, you've already tried by yourself. Now you may be wondering, why am I not giving you a compound to name as assignment? Like you already know, our assignment is a fixed one. After every class, go to the Flash Learner Jam app and practice that particular topic. The app works offline. If up to now you've not activated your app or installed, use the description below on this YouTube channel or visit flashlearner.com or search Flash Learner Jam app on those uh, Play Store or reach out to me for activation, for installation and other instructions that you may find so, 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 so. Helpful. See you in the next episode. We are still naming compounds.